Hey, it's uh, Ronan here. I wanted to share some thoughts with you, and they're not fully formed yet, but I wanted to, to share some thoughts with you. A student sent me a piece of music this morning, and he asked for some clarification uh, with the piece of music, so I, I played it. I read the sheet music. I read sheet music very slowly. I don't do it well. And, uh, and, and I clarified what it was. The idea was to simplify. You don't need slash chords. You don't need E minor sixths and sevenths. Um, and, and I clarified the, the sheet music for, for the student. Now, um, it's a few hours later and I want to play some music. And I realized that for me to play music, uh, it's very rare that I read off sheet music. I tend to choose a few chords and then riff over them. Now, you might be saying, Ronan, it's easy for you. You've been playing for... 15 years the accordion um, it's not so easy for me because I know two chords I just I just picked up the accordion and I know C major to G major or like the student I'm learning this specific song this is a, a Scottish song um, and I'm following the sheet music I can't just riff so I wanted to take a closer look I'll take three or four minutes um, I wanted to sh I'm gonna play the song live that the student sent me off of the sheet music and then I'll show you how I adopt it to to actually play, and I'm underscoring the word play. For me to read sheet music is step one. I want to take it to step four or five. I want to step away from the sheet music, and I'll show you how I do that. So here's me playing the song. Um, Something like that. Um. Yeah, that's the song. Now, I could sit here for... 30 minutes and memorize the right hand if it's a song that I wanted to learn right turn away and really memorize the left hand in terms of what they're doing but let me show you how I jump to playing and again for me to read this it's an exercise I don't get that burst of uh, goodness right this is work for me let me show you how I turn it to play and obviously, depending on your skill level, it, it does involve a little bit of work. But I, I hear three chords there. And I'm looking at the sheet music. It's A major. A major to D major. E major to A. I'm not looking at the sheet music. I'm just playing these chords. Good. I don't need the sheet music for that. The general... Ideas there are A major. I'm gonna match what I'm doing on my left hand. D major, E major to A, and again. There's the song, I'm leaving the sheet music. This is kind of like in my blog post about coordinating the left and right hands. I give a bunch of exercises, which is play the left hand, sing the song or play the left hand, do a simplified right hand. This is what we're doing with the specific song. I'm, I'm not going to share the song because it's on my uh, sheet music, but um, but it's a, it's a Scottish jig uh, or an Irish jig. So here's what I would do to play. If I have five minutes, I'm not reading the sheet music and pulling up the song. I'm going downstairs and this is what I'm doing. Playing the chords and starting to introduce a simple right hand.
so lots of musical ideas there, but just exploring those chords. A major, D and E. I like that it's limited to just three chords. I'm just playing variations on those voicings, on those triads. There was a section there was A, E, A, E, A, D, A, D, A, F sharp, F sharp, then. Again, just exploring those chords. I'm stepping away from the sheet music. Probably what it means is I can now likely play the song a little bit better than before. Um, but again, you can make up your own compositions. This is something that someone wrote and they can play it because they didn't write it necessarily when they uh, wrote it. They didn't write it when they wrote it. When this person came up with the song, they must have played it and enjoyed it, like I just did, and then they notated it, right? Musical ideas, um, I guess, depends on the music. Sometimes they're composed on paper and then performed. Oftentimes, it's a person sitting there with a, their accordion saying, That sounds nice. Let me write that down. And then we're forced to read that person's music, understand it, and make it musical. Why not turn that around? and make it musical and only then look at the person's ideas and say, oh, that's neat. But the reality of it is this jig, I think I played it quite well despite stepping away from the sheet music. So again, some recommendations, whatever piece you're working on, if there are two chords, C major and G major, I hope you know your C major to G major back and forth. Make it creative. Over there in that song, I did the alternate bass technique that sounded good to me. <laughs> If it's just C major and G major, try different dynamics. Look at my lesson on dynamics. It could be really quiet. Right? And then... Whatever it is, I want you to add musicality, and for me, that's playing. Again, underscore, the word play. I'm having fun. I'm, I'm enjoying doing this. I enjoyed reading the sheet music, but it would have taken me 30 minutes to get to that level of enjoyment where I'm actually playing. Uh, I, I enjoy reading. I, don't, I can't read sheet music, but again, the point, my point here is how do we shortcut uh, to enjoy playing music? Um, for me, that's not by doing uh, an exercise. It could be for you, and that's totally fine. I think there's definitely joy in learning. Um, sometimes, if I have five minutes, I want to shortcut. I want to jump to enjoyment, and it's usually choosing two or three chords, and that's how I um, spend my time. I was just doing, uh, I was making myself a coffee downstairs, waiting for the water to boil, and so that's how this lesson came about. Thank you. I hope you're well. I hope you take uh, some good advice from this lesson. Bye-bye.